Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Happy Easter, beloved saints of the Diocese of Alaska. Allow me an understatement. It has been an extraordinary year since last Easter. And not only because of a global pandemic, but the past year seemed to have had more than its fair share of social and political unrest, natural disasters, divisions, and trauma. All of which has left some of us emotionally exhausted. And since we carry our emotional exhaustion in our bodies, some of us are also feeling physically depleted, wrung out, and in some cases, spiritually burned out. I know I need Easter, and I wonder if perhaps you do too. To me, Easter means hope, new life. Easter is God's gift, God's invitation to let go of the past, to lay aside the weight of every sorrow and struggle that has happened, to be freed from the spirit-crushing pursuit of looking for life in an, in, in an enclosed tomb. You know, you, you won't find Easter in an enclosed tomb. Why? Because God has no business with death. God's business is life. Life that rolls back the stone, the heavy stone of death's door. My prayer this Easter is that we see the hope and life of Easter even in the midst of this abiding pandemic and even in the midst of this world's kingdom of death and despair and trauma. The Gospel of Mark is my source for the Easter story this year. And you know, I noticed something this year that I'd never noticed before. The end of Mark's Gospel points directly to the beginning. Easter points to the beginning. Mark's Gospel ends at the open tomb, the stone has been rolled away, and the angel tells the women to go and tell the disciples the risen Lord is going ahead of them to Galilee. There they will see him. Mark's gospel begins with Jesus going into Galilee to proclaim the kingdom of God is near. His message is, the kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Despite all that has been this past year, all the trauma and sorrow we have witnessed and endured, the risen Lord is ahead of us. Easter is always the beginning. The kingdom of God is near. And Easter is also an invitation for us to repent and believe. But to repent not by turning back, but by following the risen Lord in the way of life, hope, and love. Now, I'm recording this message, this Easter message, on Monday, Thursday. And while I didn't get my feet washed today because of COVID mitigation, I did get my second vaccination of the COVID-19 vaccine. And I'm hoping that isn't a liturgical precedent. I think I would prefer foot washing to having the traditional way to celebrate Maundy Thursday being going to get a vaccination. Although I do encourage all of you, if you have not been vaccinated, get vaccinated. Because in many ways, 
it's an Easter event. It is filled with hope, hope that things are changing, that soon we will be able to gather together in physical space to share the love and the joy that Easter brings. Until that time, I give thanks for you and for your witness and for your life and for your hope. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you and strengthen you now and always. Amen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Happy Easter.